listen to that noise. Welcome to... Welcome to Nizhny Novgorod Stadium with that noise. Hey, what a welcome. This is a relegation dogfight like no other. It's, it's, it's not been a great, greatest quality, if I'm truth be told, but... Um, my word, this stadium is incredible. It's almost full. I'd say probably about 90% full. Eagle and Basket just scored for home side Olympics, initially not good, uh, which puts them out of the relegation zone with one game left to play. Uh, it was looking like it was going to be a nil nil draw written all over it, but what a strike. Hit it from outside the area, swerved a bit, keeper couldn't stop it. I mean, just have a look around. This is where England will be playing against Panama on, I believe it's the 28th of June. Uh, I think it's our second game. Uh, we might actually know this, so it's the final game. No, it's second game, second game. Um, this is just, uh, I mean, it's breathtaking. All of these new stadiums have all got some slightly distinctive character. Just have a look at the top of the stands. Slightly wavy design. That is supposed to mimic the River Volga, uh, which runs past Nishin of God, of course. Um, and... Um, if you can just make out, you see the, st the roof, the white and blue, slightly different shades. <coughs> Again, mimicking the water. Not marathon, but obviously the river history. With the Volga running past. Oh, our route's about to equalise. Uh, rain side's come down now as well. Uh, but you can even see just over, over the top of the stands there, behind where the fans are sitting slight you know delicate white and blue layered over each other makes a really impressive effect i tell you what night time that is going to be absolutely magical oh here we are pitch side just imagine jordan henderson could be spraying passes across this in a few weeks time the thought of mind boggles well there you go guys there's a little taste in fact i tell you what i walk around towards the olympia's not initially not good ultras Andrei Pavlenka there, former Helsinki men captain, um, now playing for, um, for Lucien Aguirre, came on as a sub, uh, two other, in fact three former uh, FC Chimen players on the field. We'll just walk around towards the home, uh, home fans, their uh, ultra section. They're making a decent noise, but it's got to be one of the smallest ultra section in a stadium this size I've ever seen. Also to Gaza, another former FC Team Man player that making clues. Right, here we go. I mean, today, it's pretty, pretty overcast, as you can see. Uh, it's not really taken away from the effects, I'll be honest. Alright, Lucha and Aguirre have got two minutes to find an equaliser, which I desperately need, really. Um, it's not good news for FC Chimane, back in the relegation zone. Alright, here they are. That's a bit of a lucky. My Russian's not great, but I believe the chance is something about with staying in the Faniel, which they won't be in a good position to do so after this. We'll put them only... What? Oh. Oh. Ah, I just missed it. Alright guys, I'm going to sign off. Um, I'll take a few more pictures. Have a look at the YouTube channel. I'll put another video of Nishin Novgorod tomorrow if the weather's better. But until then, thanks for joining me guys. Goodbye for now.